Okay, today's the day. She's the one for me. It's just a simple question. Okay, I need to do this today. Ask me to dress nicely, get my nails done. It's obvious. I have to end things with him before he asks. Would she even say yes to someone like me? Or would she... Would she want to spend an eternity with me? Do I really want to spend an eternity with him? He's an amazing guy and everything, but I need someone new in my life. Things are so much different than when we first met. From the moment I met her, she changed my life. Elle, if you couldn't make it to my art show, you should have told me about it an hour ago. This was important to me. Hello? Stupid Kamsai exam. Stupid professor. I'm gonna drop this class so bad. They just wanna get out of here and forget about all this shit. Is he okay? Speak, dude. Wow. She is so pretty. What do I say? What are words? What if I say the wrong thing and- Oh no, your coffee, here. Let me go get you a new one. Y you don't, uh, you don't have to. No, it's okay. It's the least I can do. I'm Sarah, by the way. Uh, I'm, uh, I I'm Thomas. <laughs> No one had ever been this nice to me before. It was such a nice change. I immediately knew you were special. At first glance, he looked like a dumb lost dog. <laughs> but he did seem sweet. Because of my sister, I had time before on my show, so I might as well make a new friend. I never thought that someone like her would even want to talk to, let alone date me. I never imagined myself being with someone like him. I thought we'd just go back to being strangers again, but we got closer, and somehow... I convinced her to be my girlfriend. My girlfriend. Who would have thought that she'd say yes to me? I honestly didn't think it would have led to anything more than a friendship, but the relationship was nice at times. And then she took her paintbrush and smeared a glob of paint across the canvas and called it art. Like, it was the ugliest thing I've ever seen, but she was saying that anything can be art. <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> I have... I have something to say. Why isn't he laughing with me? This is kind of awkward. I just... I can't believe she would do something like that. I mean, she's a professor. I just, I can't believe it. <laughs> that is crazy. I actually have a professor that I time. know, right? I mean, I just can't believe she would do something like that in the classroom. Another time, she ran I love the going on these dates, but it is really hard to get a word. I wanted to tell her about the new coding program I made, but I enjoyed listening about her projects. He is such a great listener, but he still couldn't say anything back to me. At least he was hearing me and understanding me. It was nice to have someone like that. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could speak more when we went out. If I can't even say anything on our dates, how do I expect myself to do this proposal? Even if we break up, I still kind of want him in my life. Thomas is honestly really fun to have around. Have I ever been able to speak for myself? Would she rather say yes to someone that can actually talk? He's even been the one that was there for me in my darkest times, when I felt so alone. Elle has been turning my own family against me. My own sister. Just because she's made it big in the medical field, she thinks what I'm doing is pointless. And now, my parents think I'm a disappointment for pursuing art over anything realistic. Just... I want to do it. 
do what I love, you know? But it's just, I feel so alone. Like, no one wants to be around me anymore. <laughs> well, I'm always here for you. I promise you that. I never leave you. Never. <laughs> You made sure I knew you were there for me. The whole time. And I... I always wanted to be there for you in times like these. Whenever I needed to vent or talk about how I'm feeling, you've always been there to listen. But have there been times where I've talked to you about my feelings? And... and you listened to me? Thinking back, Sarah, she was never really there for me, was she? Thomas has always been there for me, when no one else would. He understood me and heard me, the only genuine person I know. She never even tried to listen to me. Does she even know who I truly am as a person? I wish I could give back what he's given to me. I could spend the rest of my life doing it if I had to. Do you really want to spend an eternity with her? Maybe I do want to spend an eternity with him. <laughs> <laughs>